I'm Andrew Bell and this is Pre-Hospital Wisdom. We understand that medicine is medicine, but pre-hospital pro providers have special skills, knowledge, and culture that other providers don't necessarily have. Let's raise the bar here a little. I don't remember specifically when I began to formally field train newly hired paramedics, but I've been doing it off and on for the majority of my career. My trainees have become trainers, which is a pretty good way to make me feel a little bit old. That in a gray ass beard. I wasn't as skilled an instructor when I began as I am now, and I don't think that I'm as good now as I will be in a few more years. I try hard to pay attention to what works and what doesn't, as well as think about how I teach in the field. There are two main points to think about when you're field training. The first is that a field trainer is like a test pilot, and that they know how to recover from spins in a bunch of different airframes under different circumstances. When I'm training, I will allow the trainee to get himself or herself into a spin. Not only that, but I will let that spin continue until the last recoverable moment. My hope is that they learn to get their call out of the spin on their own. Mistakes are where people learn. Mistakes are the best lessons. Discomfort is good. There's a difference between a mistake and a safety issue, however. I won't let a trainee's mistake affect the patient. There's a line there. I will let the call get out of the trainee's control, but not out of my control. I try not to step in too soon or too late. This came about because I hate it when I tell a trainee to start an IV and receive the reply that they were just about to. If the patient gets all the way to the ED without an IV, then there's no just about to. We can then have a frank discussion about the need for an IV on that kind of call. On a call, I have to think about whether I would start that IV and whether that decision is a style issue, protocol issue, or a life-altering issue. I make sure life-altering issues are fixed before they affect the patient. Protocol issues result in teaching after the call. Style issues get discussed in a collegial manner after the call. I let a trainee draw up the wrong medication, but I stop them before they push it. I let trainees immobilize patients that I wouldn't, but I also make sure CPR is immediately done when needed. The point is to let a trainee run their own call however they like, all the way until it would harm the patient. I allow the trainee to struggle. The second training thought is that it is my job to change my, cheat, my teaching style, not the trainee's job to change his or her learning style. Some trainees respond to preschool teachers and some respond to drill instructors. Some are visual learners, some prefer to read, and some prefer to listen. It's up to me as the trainer to make that adjustment. The trainee's success is important, not the method of getting there. So do you think you're ready to field train? It depends. Are you a good enough medic to let the call spin a little bit out of control? Grab the imaginary control yoke and restabilize everything at the last moment? Are you insecure in your ability to quickly correct what's going wrong, resulting in you stepping into the call too soon? Can you push someone that needs to be pushed, support someone who needs to be supported, and explain concepts in different ways to different people? Only you can answer that question. But I will say that EMS is based on the chain of knowledge. My instructors learn from their instructors and I teach the next line. A lot of EMS is on the job. It's that chain of EMS going back to the beginnings of the career field that really gives it that power. And training students, training new hires, training EMTs is a critical part of all of our jobs. Thanks for watching. One of the most helpful things you can do is to share this content with someone you know. Click over here for another video or click over here for the channel page and all of the videos. Subscribe's a button down below here somewhere. I'm Angry Bill. This is Pre-Hospital Wisdom. And until next time, stay safe.